Hi there, this is uh, Andy. Uh, just going to give you some thoughts on, on TI being a targeted individual. Uh, so this is for my fellow TIs out there. Uh, now I've had a bad couple of days really. I've been feeling so lethargic and so tired and drained. Uh, and I've been feeling like that for the, the last five or six years, possibly more. And it's relentless now. You know what do I know? Uh, this is really just my opinion and observations of being under this uh, relentless abuse, really. Uh, so there could be other health factors that uh, that could be uh, contributing to my feeling lethargic and tired. I, I really don't know. I, um, I haven't got a doctor. I've had nothing but. Uh, false counsel from doctors and you know uh, bad experiences so it's not an avenue I can go um, I'd just like to really just some give some considerations of what it's like and comparing to other people that seem to like you know I'm, I'm not comp you can't really compare circumstances um, but I've noticed online there's a lot of TIs that have this fantastic experience but they don't seem to have any of the real symptoms and so that's something I uh, just want people to be aware of. There, There is a load of false plants, a lot of tears who come in the name of targeted individuals and for whatever motive, for whatever reason, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of different reasons but they, these people do exist and they exist in all areas of truth. They, it come in to disrupt the truth, lead people astray. You know, it's a wicked world we live in. You know, see, I can, I consider it the last days, the end times. Um, I'm a Bible believer, and the leaves are, are falling off the tree. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking up to the return of my Saviour to to remove His people from the earth before. You know, His judgments are outpoured on on the unbelieving and wicked. So. If you're not a believer, I'd, I'd just invite you to consider, seriously consider your salvation and and the hope that you can know for sure in Jesus Christ. Uh, there's many professing Christians who profess they believe, but it's okay to believe the devils believe. Uh, you need a heart knowledge, you need to know the Lord, you need to know that you're saved. And the only way to do that is seek him with all your heart and he's faithful, he will answer your prayer. He an he answered me when I was 23, and I, I've never doubted, I've never, I've never, never wavered in, in, in that experience that stayed with me throughout thick and thin, so I, I can't doubt my saviour, and if you do, it's, he's made it very clear what happens if to the lost who rejects his salvation, because we're all sinners. So I wanted to add those observations. Um, I always feel I always feel like it. Oh, I'm not going to I'm not going to last another week. But I, I've been saying that for the last few years, you know. But as soon as I get up and try and make an effort to do something, I feel a bit better. So, but I am feeling rough. I'm feeling so drained and tired. And that, that to me, that's a symptom of being targeted, bombarded constantly by microwave pollution, Wi-Fi, all that stuff and I personally believe targeting and that's one of the effects. It's not a, it's not a quick kill, it's a slow kill so you know people 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 drop off not all at once you know but and they can put it down to just natural causes and you know no one's going to check anyway you know uh, I know what that, uh, how the system works. Uh, people uh, are killed daily, and it and it goes under the re radar of the general population. You know, it happens. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've, I've witnessed people uh, rejected, have not having any care in hospital. That have gone through through hospital, and then then following up on their case notes, there you know there's no record of that that person actually going through the system. So there's a lot of things that go under the radar that the general population, the general public don't see, and targeting is one of those things. It's very 
it's a very dominant world. Um, uh, now, in, in one of my uh, previous videos, I sort of encouraged people to come out and uh, make a video. I just want to make some points uh, about coming out and you know not hide it because I've had a lot of feed, uh, feedback and uh, some contacting contacted from other targeted individuals and uh, one asked me for some advice from Australia um, and I gave the best advice I possibly could um, and he was worried about making a video and because of his family in danger yada 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 and um, uh, you know thinking about it I thought well there's enough targeting testimonies it is another you know if you're one of those people that uh, you know, don't feel like you're confident enough to give your name on camera. Firstly, I'd say I wouldn't worry about it because the people that you don't want to know your name know it. So everything about you, your address, everything is known by private bodies. You know, your information sold left, right and centre, even from the government. So I wouldn't worry about... I, I, I wouldn't give you... A, you know like your personal details and phone number and address away but I, I wouldn't be worried about coming out in you know making a video and, and stating your name you know and fearing that you're going to get um, you know found out or sorted or targeted because you're targeted anyway and they know they know more about you than you know about yourself um, another point I'd like to stress is that, you know, say, uh, this is just my opinion, um, I, I, and uh, so, you know, don't take everything I say for, you know, fact, just, you know, to, I invite you to, you know, ex consider my opinions and test it for yourself, evaluate for yourself if I'm talking truth or speculation or opinion or whatever. Um, but a lot of people seem to say, you know, come out, go to the police, do this, do that. Now, my advice would don't. Uh, my advice would be, well, don't don't allow anyone to leave you out of your circumstances or guilt trip you into doing anything, you know, that could be contrary to your circumstances. Because not every circumstance is the same. A lot of people advise, oh, you should go to the police. You should protest. Um, I've got some thoughts about that, you know. Um, don't allow people to, you know, guilt you into doing what what they want you to do or what they feel is the right thing to do. You know, if, they, if people want to do that, they're entitled to do that and, you know, that's their choice. Uh, but you shouldn't allow other people to guilt you into doing what what you know to me that's kind of handling your circumstances that's something you you should have control over and nobody else you know it might it might work going to go into the police but all these people with testimonies going to the police they don't get anywhere so and then they carry on continuing to advise people to keep going to the police to me it's it doesn't make sense because even if you do find a police officer that will take note of your case as soon as it goes up the ranks it's going to be shut down you know that every anybody who's done any research knows that this is going under the noses of our government they're, you know they're aware of it like just like other things like paedophile rings there's so many things that have been brushed over the carpet if you look for you only have to look look through history in so many different areas that um there's so many injustices go on a daily basis people die on a daily basis and no one takes any notice so that you know i wouldn't allow people to you know do this do that do this do the other do, you should really do what you feel is right in your circumstance because we're living in a you know a dangerous age it's, you know um, there's a lot of satanic covens there's a lot of you know there's a lot of influence whether that's deliberate or just uh, you know like the blind leading the blind into the ditch nobody knows what tomorrow brings so nobody really knows what the future of targeting individual is going to bring if people want to um, build a case that, that I'm not, you know that's a good thing but I, I personally don't hold any 
any faith in that ever getting through the court system I, I think you might get one or two cases but I don't see this overturned because you, you only have to look at all the other f you know um, atrocities going on you know are they going to get through the court we're, we're living in an unjust corrupt world this uh, if you if you just do some research you'll see that our country is a slave to other powers you know a government are just a the puppets you know they're just a uh, window dressing they do their master's bidding they don't they don't serve the public they never have done you know we haven't had a, a righteous country for fat hundreds of years we're just waking up to the facts you know the world's just waking up to the fact currently in this day and age of how wicked this world really is uh, so I personally wouldn't allow people to, you know, encourage you to do this and do that. Yeah, I think you should really do what you feel is best. Because you don't know where you're being led. Somebody could uh, be digging you a pit, you know, leading you to, you know, do something uh, horrific to you. I don't know, that might not be the case. You've got to, you've got to evaluate and weigh up the circumstances and, and decide for yourself what you want to do. But I would, I saw in my previous video, I sort of saw I had a kind of change of mind from some of the things I said. I was kind of following, you know, the just just others others' advice really. And so now I'm putting that right and giving you my advice is, you know, weigh up your own circumstances and do what you feel you should do, not what others think you should do. Now, but it, I would encourage people to give a testimony because a it's good it's good for yourself, it's good for your confidence, and and it does help you cope, and and it will help other people. You know, you know, reading reading your testimony may in fact help somebody else. So that is a good thing about giving testimony, and I support testimonies. They're a you know a pre. A, a precious thing. I don't. I don't watch telly. I don't have a telly. So, you know, I think uh, truth is far more interesting than uh, you know, like fiction. Uh, you know, real life stories are, are much more beneficial to the world than all the toffee and bubble gum you get on the on the media and that's plagued. So, I wanted to add those thoughts. Um, I wrote some notes, I don't know if I've missed anything I wanted to cover. Um, I think I've really covered everything I wanted to say. So I just wanted to say how, you know, the realities of being a targeted individual and some observations about others. Uh, but like I say, my, my circumstances are different and I know that the avenue to go to the police get help from a doctor is not going to go anywhere so it's not something I would advise others to do but that's not to say it's right for other people you know that um, you know I'm fully supportive of people's free right to choose what they want to do I'm not gonna I'm not slamming that that's just my opinion that's because of my circumstances so just wanted to shout out to you know all targeted individuals out there. Uh, I hope you're doing all right. Uh, I'm not, but um, you know I put on a brave face. I, I'm carried through it. I have my faith in Jesus Christ. He get he he gets me through it. So I'm gonna leave leave it there and uh, wish you all well.